All right, guys, we're back with another video, uh, this time on payback periods. Um, and that's how long does it take to pay back uh, the costs of a project before we actually start bringing in uh, just value, just profit. So let's take a look at that. All right, so you see here we have a spreadsheet. I'm gonna zoom in. And on the spreadsheet, I have the years, the cash flow that's supposed to be coming in, and uh, you know the cumulative cash flow. So, so as we go, whoops, this number's wrong. As we go, uh, I'm going to be adding the positive money to the negative money uh, to see how long before we get to positive. Now, people don't use this very much like this anymore. People use more complex version of this because this version doesn't take into account that the fact $9,000 in next year will not be worth as much as it is today. $5,000 in the future will not be worth as much as it is today. And so these values uh, should be first discounted uh, using present value. We're not gonna do that extra step today, okay? So let me show you how this works. It's pretty simple. Okay, first thing you do is you take the previous year, so I'm gonna press equal, we're going to take the pre previous year's money, okay, the cumulative, that's negative 16,000, and I'm going to add whatever money we brought in this year. So brought in 9,000. So negative 16,000 plus $9,000 that we brought in, now we're at negative $7,000 for this project. Pretty straightforward. Keep it up. Equals, set negative 7,000, plus we made 5,000 this year, we still owe $2,000, so we're at negative 2,000 for the project. Do it again, equal. Last year we were at negative 2,000, but this year we're adding $3,000. Ah, we are now positive, we're bringing in cash, okay? Last one, previous year plus this year's $4,000. So somewhere between year two and year three, that's when we'll pay back all the cash that we used to start the project. But I wanna be more uh, exact than between two to three. Okay, so exactly when? How many years? Two point, how many years? So let me show you how you do that. You press equal, percent rank. I know that's a long one and it's weird, but that's, that's what we use. Equals percent rank. You can see that's P-E-R-C-E-N-T-R-A-N-K parentheses. Again, you can click, click the question mark if you want to know more about this. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take all of these years on the bottom, all the money on the bottom here, and we're going to compare to find out when does it turn out to be zero. Okay, so I'm going to press comma. I want to know when do we get to zero. And then that tells me when I'll start making profit. If, if it's negative, it hits zero, that's when it starts. So zero, and then this last number is significant digits. You can leave it blank. Uh, I always do six because I like using six digits for this. But you don't have to. You can you can do parentheses and, and be done. Uh, I'm not sure what will happen there. I like to have some decimals. But I'm going to put six. Okay. So again, highlight the bottom, comma zero. Okay, because when does it turn positive? It's at zero, and then six. Just put six. Okay, now we're not finished though. If you press enter, it's gonna say 0.67 years. That's dumb. It didn't happen between year zero and one. It happened between two and three. What you have to do is you have to multiply this. Double click. At the end, you should multiply, multiply by the number of years. So uh, this is four years. So I'm gonna click year four here. That's how many years we have. If it was five or six or however many, I'd click on it. And now we know it happened at 2.67 years. At 2.67 years, we got our payback. That's great. All right. All right, so that's it. That's the payback period. It doesn't take long to do. Uh, you have some unique numbers yourself to try out. If you have any questions about that, let me know. All right, peace.